first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel and today in this video we are going to cover one of the important concept in the topic trigonometry so friends we are going to solve a five different question by using only a basic trigonometrical function that is cot theta tan theta is equal to 1 then cot of 90 minus theta is equal to tan theta then tan of 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta why we are making this only three function that is only three basic formulas as a video because it is one of the most important concept in the topic trigonometry friends for the reason competitive exam they are just mainly concentrating on that first formula that is cot theta tan theta is equal to one so friends from 2011 till 2016 in many competitive exams we can find this five different questions only based on this concept that is cot theta tan theta equal to 1 then tan of 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta then cot of 90 minus theta is equal to tan theta by using only this three rule we are going to solve all the five different question which is most important and repeated competitive exams so friends if you are going to watch this video my advice don't forget to watch lesson number one that is trigonometrical identities part one and trigonometrical identities part two or otherwise you can't able to clear on this concept right if you watch the previous two videos lesson number one and lesson number two it will be so interesting and you can definitely solve all the questions so friends let me move on to all the five different question based on this three rule let me move on to question number one and we are going to solve question number one by only using this three basic functions so friends tan 7 degree tan 23 degree tan 60 degree and tan 67 degree and tan 83 degree friends do you know what is tan 7 degree no we don't know what is tan 7 degree we don't know what is tan 23 degree we don't know what is tan 67 degree and we don't know what is tan 83 degree but according to lesson number two we know what is tan 45 degree tan 45 degree will be one what about tan 60 degree tan 60 degree will be root 3 friends so i can say that tan 60 degree will be root 3 so friends next step here it is tan 7 degree listen carefully friends here it is tan 7 degree according to rule number one cot theta into tan theta is equal to one so friends listen here both the theta should be same right cot theta tan theta is equal to one our only target to bring both the theta that is both the degree should be same friends here i got tan 7 degree so here i my target to bring cot 7 degree friends you got the logic here it is tan 7 degree according to the given expression my target to bring cot 7 degree so that i can say that this two will be result in one because according to rule number one cot 7 degree tan 7 degree will be one so our only target to bring cot 7 degree friends listen here i can't able to bring cot 7 by using this function by using this function i can't able to bring cot 7 listen here friends by using this function i can bring cot 7 listen here this 83 degree can be written as tan of 90 degree minus 7 degree friends got the logic what is 90 minus 7 90 minus 7 will be 83 so tan of 90 degree minus 7 degree will be cot 7 degree friends got the logic tan of 90 minus theta will be cot theta similarly this tan 83 can be written as tan of 90 degree minus 7 so tan of 90 degree minus 7 will be cot 7 so finally i have just converted the given expression in terms of tan 7 degree and cot 7 degree so both the degrees are same now i can say that the resultant will be one because tan theta into cot theta will be one right so here we have a root 3 right so here we have root 3 okay the next step the remaining are tan see friends the remaining here it is tan 23 degree right so tan 23 degree i am just writing this as tan 23 degree so next step our target to bring cot 23 degree friends remaining only we have this term tan 67 this function tan 67 can be written as tan 90 degree minus 23 degree friends what about tan 90 minus 23 90 minus 23 will be 67 so tan 90 degree minus 23 degree can be written as cot 23 degree so cot 23 degree so finally i have just converted all the given expression in terms of tan theta and cot theta both the degree should be same tan 7 cot 7 tan 23 cot 23 so i can say that tan theta into cot theta will be 1 similarly tan theta into cot theta will be 1 we know that tan 60 will be root 3 so 1 into root 3 into 1 the resultant will be root 3 so finally we got the answer for question number 1 that is root 3 question number 2 so cot 10 degree cot 60 degree cot 20 degree cot 70 degree and cot 80 degree 
friends listen here we don't know what is cot 10 cot 20 cot 70 and cot 80 but i can say that what is cot 60 degree friends cot 60 degree will be 1 by root 3 so i can say that cot 60 degree will be 1 by root 3 but we don't know what is 20 70 80 and 10 so our target to bring the given expression in terms of cot theta and tan theta so friends i am just going to write this cot 10 as it is so cot 10 degree if i write this as cot 10 degree our next step to bring here that is tan 10 degree friends by using this we can't able to bring tan 10 by using this similarly we can't able to bring tan 10 but by using this cot 80 degree i can surely say that i can bring tan 10 degree why because this cot 80 can be written as tan listen here friends cot 80 can be written as cot of 90 degree minus 10 degree what about 90 minus 10 90 minus 10 will be 80 but cot of 90 degree minus 10 degree will be tan 10 degree so finally i can say that that cot 80 degree can be written as tan 10 degree so finally the given expression now we have converted in terms of cot theta and tan theta so friends we already know that cot 60 degree will be 1 by root 3 right and similarly here it is cot 20 degrees so friends if it is cot 20 degree our target to bring tan 20 degree right so this cot 70 degree can be written as cot of 90 degree minus 20 degree so 90 minus 20 will be 70 so cot 90 minus theta will be tan theta so cot 90 degree minus 20 degree will be tan 20 degree so finally we have converted all the given expression in terms of cot theta and tan theta friends the theta should be same that is our only target right so cot 10 degree tan 10 degree the resultant will be 1 and here it is 1 by root 3 so friends similarly here it is cot 20 degree tan 20 degree we know that the value is 1 so 1 into 1 by root 3 into 1 so finally i can say that the answer will be 1 by root 3 for question number 2 question number 3 so cot pi by 20 then cot 3 pi by 20 then cot of 5 pi by 20 7 pi by 20 and 9 pi by 20 friends listen here we need to convert this given expression in terms of degree right but we don't want to waste much time to convert this right we need to be faster friends listen carefully what is pi by 20 friends pi will be 180 180 by 20 will be 9 degree so i can say that this will be 9 degree friends got the logic according to radian this is in the form of degree right if it is degree pi will be 180 degree so 180 divided by 20 resultant will be 9 degree so i can say this as 9 degree friends listen here pi by 20 will be 9 degree here pi by 20 will be 9 degree so 9 into 3 will be 27 degree friends got the logic don't waste the time right so here pi by 20 will be 9 degree so 9 into 5 will be 45 degree and here pi by 20 will be 9 so 9 into 7 will be 63 and similarly here pi by 20 will be 9 9 into 9 will be 81 so finally we have converted the given question in terms of degree friends we know that what is cot 45 degree cot 45 degree will be 1 right tan 45 degree cot 45 degree 1 so friends listen here here it is cot 9 degree i'm just going to write this as cot 9 next target we need to bring tan 9 degree right so friends definitely i can say that cot 81 be faster right cot 81 can be written as 9 minus 9 degree 9 minus 9 will be 81 so cot of 90 minus theta that is tan theta so that can be written as tan 90 degree right similarly here it is cot 27 degree friends the, we need to convert this cot 63 degree in terms of tan right so cot 63 can be written as cot of 90 minus 27 degree so 90 degree minus 27 will be cot 63 but cot of 90 degree minus theta will be tan theta so this can be written as tan 27 degree right? so friends finally we have converted this given expression in terms of cot theta and tan theta right so cot theta tan theta resultant will be 1 cot theta tan theta the resultant will be 1 so 1 into 1 will be 1 so finally we can say the answer 1 for question number 3 let me move on to most important question that is question number 4 cot 18 degree then cot 72 degree then cos square 22 degree plus 1 divided by tan 72 degree and secant 68 degree so friends first of all let me do one thing whether we can simplify this no first of all let me do one thing let me multiply this cot 18 degree to the first term and the second term right so friends i am just going to multiply this cot 18 degree to both the terms so this given expression can be written as cot 18 degree into cot 72 degree into cos square 22 degree plus listen here friends this can be written as cot 18 degree divided by 
tan 72 degree and secant square 68 degree. So friends, our target to convert the given expression in terms of cot theta and tan theta, right? Friends, here I know that it is cot 18 degree. Next, our target to bring nearer term that is tan 18 degree. Friends, what about cot 72 degree, friends? Listen here. Uh, I am just not having a space to write here. Let me write here. Cot 72 degree. Cot 72 can be written as cot of 90 minus 18. So 90 minus 18 will be tan 18 degree. So finally, I can say that cot 72 degree will be tan 18 degree. So this expression can be written as cot 18 degree tan 18 degree and remaining will be cos square 22 degree plus listen here friends this is cot 80 degree tan 72 degree can be written as cot 18 degree friends got the logic why because we know that tan 72 degree will be tan of 90 minus 18 so 90 minus 18 the resultant will be cot 18 degree so this equation can be written as cot 18 degree divided by cot 18 degree and secant square 68 degree so friends we can cancel this cot 18 degree cot 18 degree and we know that cot theta tan theta resultant will be 1 so the final expressions are cos square 22 degree plus 1 divided by secant square 68 degree friends 1 divided by secant square 1 divided by secant square will be cos square so this can be written as cos square 22 degree plus this will be cos square 68 degree we can see Say this as an answer right if you need to further simplify this i can uh, tell you one thing friends listen here uh, cos square 22 degree and this cos square 68 degree can be written as cos square 90 minus right 90 minus 22 will be 68 friends listen carefully this can be written as cos square 22 degree plus cos square 90 minus 22 degree 90 minus 22 will be 68 so cos of 90 minus theta will be sine theta so the resultant will be cos square 22 degree plus sine square 22 degree i hope cos theta plus sine theta that is sin, cos square theta plus sine square theta resultant will be one according to lesson number one right these are all the lesson number one till till this expression we know that this is based on this rule right and we know that what is sine square theta plus cos square theta sine square theta plus cos square theta will be one so finally for question number four we got an answer that is one one of the most important question repeated question in many competitive exams right so friends here the most important thing you should know how to convert the given expression in terms of tan theta and cot theta second thing you should know this basic right one by secant theta will be cos square cos theta and you should know what is con cos 90 minus theta sin 90 minus theta i think everyone knows this if you watch lesson number two i hope that you will surely know that but here you should remember those things right cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to one the last fifth question 1 plus secant 20 degree plus cot 70 degree into 1 minus cosecant 20 degree plus tan 70 degree so friends listen here uh, we can't able to apply this rule here friends why because from question number one till question number four we know that all the degrees are in terms of multiplication right if it is cot 7 degree the nearer term will be in term of multiplication right tan 7 degree or everything but here we can find all the functions are in addition see here cosecant 20 degree plus tan 70 degree so here all the terms are in addition if all the terms are in addition we can't able to apply this rule because cot theta into tan theta will be 1 so friends in this case what you should do right we can't able to apply this rule here but my advice if this case occur in the exam listen carefully friends convert all the given expression in terms of common degree here it is secant 20 degree right i am going to convert this 20 degree 70 degree as 20 degree and this 70 degree as 20 degree i am just going to convert all the given expression in terms of 20 degree right so friends listen here this can be written as 1 plus secant 20 degree friends my target to convert this cot 70 degree in terms of 20 degree right cot 70 degree can be done as cot of 90 minus 20 90 minus 20 will be 70 so cot of 90 minus 20 will be tan so this can be written as tan 20 degree next 1 minus cosecant 20 degree plus listen here friends tan 70 degree this tan 70 degree can be written as tan of 90 minus 20 so tan 90 minus 20 will be cot so this can be written as cot 20 degree so finally i have converted all the given expression in the terms of common degree that is 20 degree right so friends let me do one thing 
uh, let me split this right 1 plus secant 20 degree secant 20 degree can be written as cos 20 degree right and tan 20 degree can be written as sin 20 degree divided by cos 20 degree no other way we need to simplify this friends 1 minus cosecant will be uh, sin 20 degree then cot will be cos 20 degree divided by sin 20 degree okay i think we need to take an lcm right so if i take lcm as cos 20 degree so this will be cos 20 degree and uh, here it is sin 20 degree and here it is 1 so the second term friends here sin 20 is common so let me take lcm as sin 20 so here it will be sin 20 degree and here it is cos 20 degree and here it is minus 1 friends see here this equation is looks like a format called a plus b a minus b can you identify it see friends here it is a plus b and here it is a minus b got the logic the value of a is sin 20 degree plus cos 20 degree so a plus b a minus b so a plus b a minus b will be a square minus b square so this can be written as a square that is cos 20 plus sin 20 square minus 1 divided by the denominator that is sin 20 degree and cos 20 degree friends got the logic a square minus b square that is a plus b a minus b so friends this looks like a format called a plus b the whole square right so a square plus b square plus 2 ab okay let me do one thing cos so this can be written as so let me write here so cos square 20 degree plus sin square 20 degree plus 2 cos 20 degree sin 20 degree right see here friends a plus b the whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2 a b here it is minus 1 right so minus 1 divided by and the denominator is sin 20 degree and cos 20 degree friends listen here friends cos square degree plus sin square degree what about cos square theta plus sin square theta cos square theta plus sin square theta resultant will be 1 so i can say that both the values the resultant will be 1 and here it is minus 1 so 1 minus 1 the resultant will be 0 so the remaining numerator are 2 cos 20 degree sin 20 degree and the denominator is sin 20 degree and cos 20 degree so we can say that we can cancel sin 20 cos 20 sin 20 cos 20 so finally we got the answer two. that is for question number five so friends most important question remember that if if all the terms are in case of multiplication then we need to apply this rule if all the terms are in addition try to convert the given expression in terms of common degree right so finally we got the answer this two for question number five so friends my advice after watching this video try to take your trigonometry books and practice a lot and lot of questions that's similar to this after practicing all the questions go to remaining lessons in my youtube channel so that it will be helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you have really enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share bye